Welcome to our brand new Let's Play, Let's Play Clockwork City. You'll notice this video is coming out before Clockwork City is, but that is because I wanted to get the prologue quest so that we can hop right into Clockwork City once it releases next week. Now, who am I using for this? I'm actually going to use my main character. This is the first ever character I made in Elder Scrolls Online back in April 2014. She's a High Elf Templar, her name is Anes, and I'm normally a healer in dungeons, but hey, I love questing, okay? As well, since we're just hanging out and Overland content isn't very difficult, I'm using Grothgar shoulder and, um, shoulder and headpiece, then I'm using a five-piece Overwhelming Jerkin, and I'm using four-piece Burning Spell Weave. Um, not really a real build, it's just that you can pretty much do once once you're experienced in the game and you have lots of champion points you could pretty much do whatever you want um for overland content so my champion points are not changed from my normal healer champion points because i don't think it's going to make that much of a difference so i'm in oridon right now because i love this place it's seriously my favorite zone and we're heading into the mages guild here is where I Hello. should find a brand new quest for me. Oh, and it looks like I found it. Order of the Eye Dispatch. To the Archmage of Ivea, on Ivea, okay. I pray that this letter reaches you soon, Master. My fellow scryers and I have made a shocking discovery. Whether it proves to be a boon or a catastrophe remains to be seen. The Alas, we do not wield sufficient power to act on our findings. This matter may be beyond the ken of even the greatest of wizards of our age. I humbly beseech you, meet me at the Mage's Guildhall in Mournhold as soon as possible. I will tell you everything when you arrive. Yours in the sight of Sirvain. Really um, a really long name. Somebody from the Order of the Eye. So I guess we need to head on to the Ebonheart Pack and check out Mournhold. All right, here we are. You read my letter? Oh, I'm so grateful you've come. We found something powerful. A, a Daedric... Wait, what's happening? <gasps> Scaldi, no! Damn it! Who is doing this? Let me send him straight to Sovngarde! Hi, Butterfried. I was not fast enough. Damn it all! Did you see what happened here? Was it his shadow? Yes, his shadow came to life and stabbed him. Just as I feared. I knew looking for this artifact would get us killed. I warned them, warned all of them, but they wouldn't listen. They never listen. I've got to find the others. There's still time to save them. Has to be. What others? What are you looking into? Something very dangerous. But that can wait. My friends are in danger and don't even see it. Some scryers, huh? Adeber's in Shornhelm. And when Riddle is in Marbrook. Okay. Nilo's in Stormholt, maybe? Yes, yes, he must be there. I just hope we're not too late. All right, I'll warn your friends. Thanks for the help. Got any questions? Let's just make it quick, all right? My friends can't very well outrun their own shadows. Who are you exactly? Bonifred of Clan Owlcloak. Skaldia and I came up together in Riften under Magus Auriella. He was always the sharper blade. Magic came easily for him. Me? Not so much. Got too much frost in my blood. Still, I can hold my own. Just takes me a while. What brought you here? Unfortunately, Skaldia is not the only mage who's been killed by his own shadow. Oh. He's just the most recent. Other members of our order have been turning up dead all over Tamriel. I hurried here to warn him, but I wasn't fast enough. So, what did you and Skaldir discover that was so terrible? Uh, Shaw's bones. You really want to know, huh? Fine. Yeah. My associates and I are all junior scryers in the Order of the Eye. Okay. We scoured the tombs and ruins of Tamriel. Looking for extra planar threats, rifts in the veil, Daedric artifacts, that sort of thing. So what exactly did you find? We've had visions of a Daedric artifact. At least we think it's a Daedric artifact. It's hazy, you know, obscured by something like frosted glass. Sorry, 
Skaldir was always the wordsmith. And you're sure that Skaldir's death is related to this artifact? A mage can't afford to be sure of anything. Okay, good but enough. I'd bet my family's meadery on it. Daedric artifacts grant untold power to those that carry them, but always at a cost. Mm -hmm. The Mage's Guild can't let even one of these things fall into the wrong hands. Well, she's got to be pretty positive because I'm guessing a Nord's family meadery is uh, quite close to their heart. Who are these other people you mentioned? Are the junior scryers in the Order of the Eye. Okay. It was just Skaldia and me at first, but others caught on eventually. We started writing each other once we realized we'd all stumbled upon the same artifact. <laughs> Thought we could find it all on our own. Why can't you warn the others yourself? You think I haven't tried? Okay! I said projections, but this doesn't come easily for me. Uh, magic, I mean. Anyway, I have to warn High King Yorin first. I heard that his rune galder has been looking into the artifact as well. Please, just find my friends. All right, Bonifred. I will work on finding your friends. I just need to make sure there is a... Nothing I need to borrow from the area before I exit, because I'm pretty sure I still probably need to work on my ledger domain on this character, because I just don't have it very high. Originally, I didn't want her to steal, but it seems it's senseless, and I should just let her steal stuff, because it's helpful. Even in stuff like White Gold Tower, where you have to break out of something. It's helpful to learn how to steal, okay? Ooh, see? But I only steal the green things if I'll be playing for a while, because there's only so many things you can sell and launder in a day. All right. So this quest is of knives and long shadows, and I need to there's warn other work. people that their shadow is about to try to murder Ugh. them. That's really weird. I heard the but this is the prologue quest the for Clockwork City, City and you can pick about. it up from any mages guild in, you know, in the entire Tamriel areas, any of them. You don't have to go to Oridon to pick up the letter. You can go anywhere, but it will always bring you back here to Mournhold, even if you are not an Emmenhart Pack character. As you can tell, my character, well, I guess you can't tell, but my character is AD. She's not EP. All right, so Marbrook is in what? Green shade? Haha, <laughs> I remember. Let's head off there first. So I believe Wenradil was, was the one who was in Marbrook, and the quest marker is leading me here. Ah, oh, this place is actually quite pretty as well. Oh, there's a girl. <gasps> oh, you're painting. What are you painting? Oh, you're not really painting. You're a fake painter. You're more like a scholar sitting. Why aren't you painting, sir? This makes no sense. Excuse me, ma'am. Get out of my way. One riddle! I see you leering at me. On your way or I'll call the gods. Oh, give it up. Talk to me. Hello? Your shadow is going to try to kill you. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't stop it. Oh, gosh. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh. Where'd you go? Hello? Oh my, I don't know where you went. Oh, you ran to the Mages Guild. Well, that, I guess that's what you would do, hey? All right, I'm gonna find my way to the Mages Guild. Oh, this is a beautiful place. I can hear a dolmen. Okay, where did you go? This is... This looks exactly like the Oridon Mage, Mage's Guild. Apparently she was downstairs and I missed her. Oh, because she's cowering in a corner. Hello? Is, is it dead? Yes, I dealt with the shadow. You're safe now. It was my shadow, wasn't it? Yes. If his name, why would it attack me? I always treated it well. Plenty of sunshine, candlelight and such. All done now, I suppose. It doesn't look like it's coming back. In great. Now I feel... Uh, damn! Are you alright? Not really. I think my shadow may have peeled off some of my animus. My soul, I mean. Oh. Or maybe just some of my magical aptitude. Either way, it's something I'll miss. But don't blame yourself. You did keep it from killing me, after all. Well, yeah. Bonifred sent me. She thinks these attacks have to do with the artifact you were studying. 
Well, that was charitable of her. Didn't think she much liked me. A <laughs> bit of a sore head, that one. Anyway, I'm grateful. I hid my notes on the artifact in the planter over there. Just in case, you know. They're yours if you want them. Thank you. Stay safe. All right, the planter over there. Oh, look at that. We're gonna check that out and steal the pattern. Okay. Stealing is wrong. I didn't get, oh no, I was gonna read that. Oh, what did she find out? Okay, so I'm going to leave the book I just read of her notes in the description below so you can check it out on my website so you can read it too. But she hears like a clunking sound and I'm pretty sure one of the Khajiit gave her skooma. So now we're gonna be off to, I guess we'll go to Shornhelm next and see who else we can warn. So we're heading through Shornhelm, which is actually a pretty nice city. It's a bit confusing. And we're looking for Adabir, Adabar, Adabur. We'll find out when we talk to her or him. I would like to say Adaber or whatever the name really is. Sounds like a him to me, but I'm ooh, not totally sure. Look at all these beautiful desks. Just meant for stealing. If I could get fully hidden. Good enough. There, we didn't get caught. That's what's important. Anything else good around here? Desk. Trunk. Ooh, that's... Oh, there's that lady there. Are you going to turn around ever? Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. How do you not see me? That's just outrageous. I... You guys need better security guards here. Ah, greetings, adept. Everyone recognizes the guild associate who matched wits with the mad god. Uh, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a mage named Adaber. Bodafried sent me to warn him. His life may be in danger. I'm quite glad that uh, this guy recognizes me. Bonifred? The nearsighted scryer? What she... Never mind. A Daber left just a moment. A Daber. Said he needed some quiet. He usually goes to the courtyard behind the guild hall when he needs some time alone. Is he going to be all right? I hope so. Someone has been killing his associates in the Order of the Eye. You're serious, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Mara, protect us. I'll gather up the other initiates and alert the Magister at once. Please, just find a Daber and bring him back safe. We'll do all we can to protect him. I'll find him. All right. You know, I already did this quest when it was on the public test server, and it's a big difference in how that guy treats you if you've actually completed the Mage's Guild quest line. He was pretty rude to the character I did on the PTS with, and on the PTS, I'm pretty sure I did on a template character who would not have completed any quests. Okay. Uh, whoa. Are you Adaber? Oh, boy, you are. You don't look very alive. So it was, Adabur is dead, and he did some weird stuff with crows and was sniffing a urn box. Uh, sure. Oh, now I'm going to have to tell that guy. He was really nice to me. I don't really want to tell him. You're back. Good. Our Magus erected a powerful ward on the door, and... Wait, I know that expression. You bring grim tidings, don't you? Adaber is dead. He is. I'm sorry. The eight damn whoever did this to him. He was so sweet. Such a quiet and gentle soul. Always there with a timid smile and a kind word. Oh. Who could... Thank you for letting me know. We'll see to it that he's laid to rest. Just warn the others. All right. I will. The last person that we need to warn is in Shadowfend. Um, their name is Nilo. That one, um, I don't know who we're gonna find, but I'm hoping I can save them because I wasn't able to save Adaber. 
So I'm in Shadowfen, which is a nice place, but a little swampy for my taste. It just kind of everything is wet and moist. Oh, maybe that's why Argonians like it here. And you are, of course, an Argonian. Stay back. Back. I will not die like the others. Oh my goodness. I'm not here to harm you. Mages are being killed by their own shadows. Skaldir was one of them. You think I do not know? I know. I have heard the stories. Ragar, Gilnanor, and now Skaldir? All dead at your hand, no doubt. Well, I am too clever for you, Shadow Weaver. Try to touch me and my wards will tear you apart. If I were here to kill you, you'd be dead already. Now stop being an idiot and get out of there. I don't. All right. I'm sorry. I'll come out. By the egg. You remind me of my sister, Zarai. She is a wonderful person. But when she gets mad, I'd rather tangle with an angry hackwing. How do you know about the shadows? Bonifred sent me. She wants you to seek a safe place. You should go to your sister. Yes, of course. Zarai will put me in a very bright room. Or should it be a very dark room? Uh, I cannot take this kind of stress. Look, my scales are falling out. Thank you. And Bonifred, tell her I am sorry I doubted her dedication in the past. Stay close to your sister. You'll be all right. Yes, yes, I know I will. If you have spoken to Bonifred, you must know about our research into the Daedric artifact. Please, take my notes. Okay. Preferably far, far away. I hid them in those roots over there. I am sure that is what these shadows want. I will keep your notes safe. Good luck. All right. Um, where did you hide them? Oh. Half in a swamp. All right. So it doesn't actually. Who would unravel the secret of these murderous shadows? Approach me. Oh. Okay. Sounds like the Argonian wasn't doing anything shady like the rest of them. Do not be alarmed. Only you can see me. I am Lilatha, Sigic Master of the Gazing Glass. I have watched you from afar, and I believe we share the same goal. Okay. You seek to destroy these vengeful shadows, yes? I believe we can help each other. What are you asking me to do? All the shadows' victims were seeking a Daedric artifact, an extra planar antiquity that remains hidden from my sight. To solve these murders, we must first locate the artifact. Oh, great. I require two objects to find it. An Anuic lantern and a liminal lens. So where are these objects? I believe the lantern lies hidden in a sunken ship near Canarthi's roost. Ah, uh, easy enough. The lens rests in a coffer deep within the howling sepulchres. Oh. Recover the items, then seek out my boat near Valkal Guard. Trust no one. Our enemies are very well hidden. All right, but before I do, I have questions. I am sorry we can't have this conversation in person. I fear that I'm too tempting a target for this shadowy killer. I must remain hidden. You have questions. I urge you to keep them brief. There's no telling when our enemy will strike again. You mentioned the Sidjuks? Yes. I take it that you're unfamiliar with our order. That's hardly a surprise. We once served as advisors and teachers to the greatest kings and emperors, but no longer. We retreated to our hidden isle of Arteo, content to study in seclusion. Arteo? Indeed. It's an island beyond Tamriel's borders, where we can research the truths of the Orbis without interruption. That is the purpose of the Sigic Order, after all. To study magic for the betterment of all. If that's true, why aren't you on the Ardor, Ardor, or whatever now? There are worrying signs, portents that cannot be ignored. I fear that a Daedric threat looms over Tamriel. Nothing so crude and obvious as the plane melt. No, it's something hidden. And I suspect that this Daedric artifact may hold some answers. 
So what do you plan on doing with this lantern and lens? They are critical components of an ancient psychic mechanism known as the Obscuros. Obscuros doesn't sound like it's going to help us find anything. The Obscuros is a scrying device. It magnifies a mage's perception and projects their visions for all to see. Oh. A powerful tool indeed. When my order retreated to Arteo, we scattered the device's components to prevent it from being misused. So where's the device now? I'm afraid I can't say. The forces arrayed against us are too mysterious. They may have found a way to listen in. I can't risk divulging the Obscurus's location. Collect the items and I promise my boat will be waiting for you in Vulcal Guard. Just your boat? Indeed. A self-steering vessel of my own design. Oh, great! Climb aboard, and the enchantment I've placed on it will bring you to me directly. It's quite safe, I assure you. I've heard that story before, and it didn't turn out well. So what do you know about this Daedric artifact? Very little. Daedric artifacts are notoriously difficult to track. Some misguided soul may discover one and wield it for a time, but it always vanishes eventually, sometimes for a week. Sometimes for centuries. Okay, I feel stupid asking this question because I know they are, but are they dangerous? Oh, yes. Items of power always introduce some measure of peril to the world. Mm -hmm. This is doubly true with Daedric artifacts. They exist to carry out the dark intentions of their creators, you see. Absolutely. They turn even the best intentions to malice eventually. So why do you think this one is so good at hiding from you? That is the question, isn't it? I trained for centuries on the Isle of Arteo, briefly under Sothasil himself. Yet still, this artifact eludes me. Vexing is the word. Either this artifact is shrouded by a powerful ward, or it isn't here. Isn't here? It might be tucked away in a pocket plane, or caught in some orbit gaia, bouncing between worlds. Impossible to say. That's, That's why, why I need the lantern and the lens. Alrighty then. Well, I think Canarthi's Roost is a fine place to start our adventure. And we're gonna swim out to a boat that isn't scary and self-steering. Oh, Canarthi's Roost. Been a while since I've been here, but I still recognize you. Beautiful island. And here's, uh, well, I don't know how many ships this was. I would say it was more than one. And at least part of this lantern or s lens or something should be here, I would hope. Let's keep looking around. There's got to be a way in one of these. So we'll have to find an open doorway of some kind. Or maybe I can head up these stairs. That would be interesting if I can. That is the way the quest marker is leading me. Oh, ooh, there's a doorway. I bet you we can go through this. All right. Oh. Okay, so someone's friend stole the something on the ship worth a lot and took it to Hazak's Hollow. I guess that's where we're really heading. So here we are in Craglorn, and I'm on my way to the Howling Sepulchre. And you know what's really good about follow? I can actually pronounce all the names. Anyways, that is a delve in Greg Lorne that we're hoping the uh, lens is here because this is not the Hazax Hollow. This is somewhere different. I really hope the lens is here. Now you may be wondering about going into Craig Lorne solo. Oh, I forgot I turned this map add-on on. So, Craig Lorne actually got changed quite a while back so that it's not super crazy, oh my goodness, I can't do this myself anymore. Um, it's generally, they changed most of Craig Lorne, including the main Craig Lorne quest line, oh my goodness, to be soloable. This means a lot of what used to be group delves is actually now normal delves, you know, comparable to the rest of, oh my golly, to the rest of Tamriel, and I have no idea 
Oh, I need more AoE. Oh boy, come on, you die. Dead. I didn't even need to go over here. Oh no. That's what I get for using the crazy hiding map add-on. All right. Go. Go. Bye. Yeah. See, my not really a build build is working pretty nicely. Though it's a little bit overkill for overland because I'm like putting down a bunch of AoEs and buffs where most of your overland stuff is going to die long before you really need it. There we go. I haven't even like used all the skills on my bar, actually, throughout all of this. Boom! Because they all just die real fast. Is this the way I need to go? Not at all the way I need to go. I'm so confused. How do I get over there? Oh, this doesn't make any sense. This is a lot easier when you have a full map where you can see everything. I want to go that way, but I can't actually go that way. And there's totally a sky shard up there. Um, so I'm guessing I need to go all the way around and that's the way I come out? I hope? I think? sure. Oh. Well, this is interesting. Lots of urns to loot. I don't know if the person ahead of me killed everything or if some of these are going to come alive. That always makes it for an interesting little journey. Are you dead? Are you not? All right. It appears just the bigger urns are lootable and they're generally giving me garbage. <gasps> Ooh, this is a boss. Should we try to fight the boss? I think we should. Okay, so here is where I'll actually use everything. Yes! Wow, that was pretty... Oh, pretty easy boss. It just hit me. That was unfair. Well... That feels pretty good to fight that boss and win like that. Let's carry on, shall we? Okay, you have to admit, this is pretty cool. Like, looking out into the mountains, you can see a waterfall over there. Oh my goodness. Whoa. That's, uh, that's quite far down that way. Alright, let's hurry up and get moving. We are entering a hidden part of the tomb. Oh boy. Um, wait a second. Do I need to head this way afterwards? I hope I do. I really want that sky shard. Oh man. Oh, or is it gonna? Yeah, we'll, we'll try it. All right, looks like somebody was already here. So if there was some big baddie to kill, it's already dead. Which, oh, isn't the worst thing? There we go. Oh, look at that. Ta-da. Now we got the big bad thing. It's dead. And I can check the coffer which appears to have the liminal lens. Well, at least somebody didn't lose their piece. That's good. Somebody is being useful. Though these urns are not being very useful to me at all. Who puts so many not lootable urns around? This just tortures us. Stop doing it. <laughs> oh, they need lids to be lootable. Lids. Okay. So that's all we needed from there. Let's head out and get the sky shard. All right, so I walked that little bit out and <gasps> I found the sky shard. I sure did. So now where the heck is Hazak's Hollow? Ooh, I got the upper Craig Learn Sky Shard's achievement. 
I'm walking the beaches of Canarthi's Roost to Hazuk's Hollow, which once upon a time, like a really long time ago, I'm pretty sure I helped out like a scuba addict and his mum in here. Um, hopefully they have the lens we're after. Or the lantern, sorry. I already found the lens. We need the lantern. <laughs> This place should be a lot less scary than the very first time I remember being here. I actually remember dying a bunch. That's, yeah. It wasn't so easy back when I started, I swear. Alright, but I'll help you out. Yay! Now I can go find that lens. A freshly packed crate? Yes! We got it. We got it. So now we need to go back to Oridon to the sketchy boat, or sketchy boat that steers itself. And I'm not a big fan of that. I just, I'm thinking I could end up in the wrong place. Why, hello, Vocal Guard. It's beautiful seeing you again. I, I love this place. Seriously, favorite town ever. And I swear it's not because it was the first town I ever stepped in. Put in, my although it was, it's just, it's my favorite. So where is this boat? You need me to swim out to an ocean. Do I have all the fishes here? I have all the Oridon fishes. All right, let's go. Are you gonna hang out with me while I swim? No, no, okay, I wish I was an Argodian too. Okay, you never heard me say that. I really don't wish it, that would be terrible. Oh man, okay, I feel pretty safe if I'm going up in that giant bow. Like, that's. Oh. Uh. That's the boat we're going in, right? Oh no. Oh. Wait, don't leave yet. Not, uh. It's not the big boat, it's the little boat. Hi, hi, Bonifred. Are you really going to climb aboard this death trap? Just hold a moment and think it through. Butterfried, how did you find me? Would you believe pluck and intuition? Yeah, didn't think so. I may look the part, but I'm no bloodhound. Truth is, I slipped a sporing coin into your pocket before you left Mournhold. A sporing what? Explain yourself! A sporing coin. It's an enchanted drake. Looks mundane, but it bears a charm that we can track. You don't approve? Look, we can argue about that later. For now, I can't let you get on this boat alone. It's too dangerous. Let me go with you. Mm, I don't think so. The person I'm meeting with told me to come alone. Yeah, and you know what kind of people say things like come alone? Murderers. Shows bones you're smarter than this. Just let me come along. I can help. I'll be fine. I'm going alone. Bah, you're just as stubborn as Scaldi of us. And we know how that turned out, don't we? Just take care of yourself, all right? And don't believe everything you hear. It's a Daedric artifact we're after. People would do anything for it. Anything. I'll be fine. Okay. I I'm not gonna lie. I would have felt better getting on the giant boat. Okay. So, we have a... Oridon look-alike island, which is kind of cool looking, kind of cool looking. All right. I have a feeling I'm supposed to walk down the path, though. I'm probably not supposed to walk down the river. I'm not sure. I think it's a river. But this is beautiful like Oridon is. Oh, man. Look at all the vines. Oh. What is... Okay. Uh, broken... Statue. Oh. Those are... Does Ordon have those exact same light posts? I feel like those are finished. More polished. A little better than all the Ordon ones. It's quite stormy, though. I do like the Ordon sunshine. Eltha, where are you? Oh, hey! Campfire on the beach. I still don't see the appeal. It's ah, nice. you've arrived. Welcome to Dranil Kia. Let's get in out of the rain, shall we? I trust you brought the items I requested. Mm -hmm. The scrying chamber is just up the hill. 
follow me. Oh boy, you you move pretty good. Oh, you the have a super shiny dress. Poor. A side effect of the Obscurus's presence, I'm told. Come, it's just through here. Oh, <gasps> the Obscurus! I'm confident that the components you brought will fit, but the Obscurus device has been dormant for centuries. Let's hope that the genius of my forebears has stood the test of time. Okay. Affix the lantern and the lens. The answers we seek are within our grasp. Do you feel that chill? Oh no, like... you're still- Oh no. What's happening to me? Oh, whoa! You must kill the shadow. Hurry. I knew you were stubborn, but that won't save you from me. You'll die just like the rest. No. Whoa! I will not perish here. You've advised not to try. <laughs> ah! What afraid? I don't remember you wearing heavy Daedric armor last time I saw you. Something tells me she wasn't a Nord mage. All right. Okay. Oh, you want me to activate this thing? Are you sure about that? I can't even talk to you to double check. All right, I'll, uh, I'll activate it. A fabricant? I don't... No. This cannot be. The city was sealed long ago. What is this creature? Some new Daedric beast? The clockwork city. Could it be? After all this time? What? The images revealed by the Obscuros leave little room for doubt. The Daedric artifact we seek is somewhere inside the Clockwork City. Why would Sothasil allow such an item to enter his domain? I fear that something terrible has happened. Can you tell me more about this Clockwork City? Yes, of course. I sometimes forget this is not common knowledge. Sothasil, brother to Vivek and Magus of the Tribunal, created the Clockwork City long ago. He rarely speaks of it. But scholars believe this city has the power to remake Tamriel. Remake Tamriel? What do you mean? The city functions as a simulacrum of the corporeal plane. Okay. Making a change to the clockwork city may well change some aspect of Tamriel itself. This is all speculative, but I've studied under Sothasil. I have no doubt that this is within his power. Oh, so if someone took over Clockwork City, they could change or even destroy Tamriel? Indeed. An unwelcome prospect, to be sure. Oh, boy. Normally, I would assure you that Sothasil has the situation well in hand. He is a friend to the Sigix and to the people of Tamriel. But the presence of this Daedric artifact gives me pause. So, what do you plan to do? I must inform the Sigic Rite Master. If Daedra have breached the gates of the Clockwork City, we must move swiftly. As for you, I would counsel vigilance. Whoever set these events in motion no doubt sees you as a threat. Take this, and my thanks. Oh, boy. We must employ the most powerful scrying device in Tamriel, and all it yields is more questions. Hmm. A perfect metaphor for the scholarly life, I suppose. You sound tired. Are you all right? I wish I could say yes. I fear that in destroying my shadow, we've destroyed some vital piece of my animus. Oh. I feel thin, diminished. A weakened Sigic is still a formidable mage, but something is definitely broken. Oh. Best not to think about it. I guess Bonifred was a powerful mage after all. So you knew our attacker? Hmm. She was powerful indeed, and yet I sensed that the strength was not her own. 
Her form was clumsy, but she struck with the power of a master wizard. Usually I'd suspect possession, but with her, I'm not so certain. What do you mean? Someone granted her powers beyond her ken. An agent of oblivion, no doubt. Oh. Bonifred was clearly filled with hatred, consumed by jealousy or resentment, perhaps. The Daedra can twist those passions into untold horrors. Aww. I pity her. How do you know so much about Sothacil? Well, no one really knows Sothacil. Not even the other members of the Tribunal. I studied under him for a time. He was patient, surprisingly attentive. The perfect teacher in many respects. Even so, I never really felt that I knew him. Well, what can you tell me about him? Beyond the obvious? Not much. I can tell you he's nothing like Vivek. He never spoke about himself, or the dark elf faith. I always got the sense that he, well, resented isn't the right word. He just seemed ambivalent about that part of his life. And the Clockwork City? Did he talk about that? Only obliquely, and mostly in metaphor. Oh. It's his primary pursuit now. Some say it's his obsession. Ooh. You see, despite all his power, there is a melancholy to him. It's unfortunate, but not surprising. True wisdom always brings some measure of despair. You mentioned a Sigic Rape Master. Who is that? I must admit, I'm unaccustomed to discussing such matters with people outside our order. But I think you've more than earned the privilege. Thank you. Right Master Iacasis directs Iacusis. the Sigics. He rivals Sotha Seal in wisdom, if not in power. Isn't Sotha Seal something like a god? Something like, yes. The old ways give little credence to such titles. Hmm. What is a god other than an exceptionally powerful agent? Anyway, power is overrated. Wisdom is the true measure of a person. Oh. In that regard, Iacasis is great indeed. Can I meet him? Someday, perhaps. Oh. The Sigic Order's Isle of Arteum is no longer here. It may return in time, but for now, you'd probably have an easier time reaching Aetherius or realms beyond. The Order values solitude, much like Sotha Seal. All right. Well, it looks like we got our very own clockwork obscurus, so let's check it out. Whoa! Nice! Oh, hold on. I'm gonna let it finish, and then I'm gonna use it. Oh, yes! Look at us go. So, everybody's shadows are trying to kill them. This Daedric artifact is in Clockwork City, and we need to, well, probably save Clockwork City before it destroys all of Tamriel. This is like Moleg Ball kind of stuff going on. So I hope you guys join me when we officially enter Clockwork City next week, once it releases on PC. Thanks for joining me. I'm Miss Biz, and bye for now.